Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, you guys read the title right. Uh, for every $10 that's donated today, I'm going to remove an item from my loadout. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I feel like... I feel like if anybody does, we're going to end up losing a lot of stuff like our scopes and our... Uh, even our guns. It's going to be interesting. I thought this could be kind of a fun thing to do as we pass the time for uh, until the next release. So hopefully we can have some interesting moments today. And we are going to be jumping into multiplayer, hopefully finding some good trophies. So we'll see what we can do. But welcome, everybody. Hope you're all having a good day. Thank you, dear killer. Hopefully we do get something good, man. Hey, Samantha. Hey, LaDog. Hey, SK. Uh, Black Eyed Peas. Lucan. Ben. Glowlax. Diffusion. JN. Dear killer. Jacob. Sam. Jeremiah. Uh, Letta. Clips. Nevea. G Gaming. Uh, Quinn. C3. Barry, how's everybody doing? Hey, Colin, how's it going, man? Hope everybody is doing fantastic today. So let's see what loadout we're going to start with. I want to make this a loadout that uh, will take a while to get rid of all of my stuff. So I got to be smart about what loadout I use here. Let's get rid of those things. Although I might want to keep that with me just in case. I got to be smart about this. We can get rid of callers. Make a little bit more room for our weapons. Um, what are some really lightweight weapons I can carry a lot of? I mean, the 22 Hornet should be good, right? 22 Hornet should be a great uh, candidate for this. And then we can also use the 243. Okay, we still have two KGs that we can do. Let's go with a handgun, I think. What is a very... Ooh, okay, so we could use the 357. It's pretty lightweight. Let's do 357. Okay, it, it should take a while to get rid of all of these. Uh, Ben, thank you for the five-month membership. And Mel, thank you for the nine-month membership. Holy! That's crazy. Five months and nine months. It's crazy to think that you guys have been with the channel or uh, been members for that long. That's amazing. Welcome back, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream so far. Uh, what scopes are we going to need? Um, we need the handgun scope. We definitely need the handgun scope. I don't know if I can fit it, though. I definitely can't. We'll just have the handgun here just in case we need it. But, oh my gosh, that's a lot of guns. Um... There we go, 243. This is going to be interesting, guys. This is going to be very interesting, but let's get out there. Uh, yes, Mel. Yes. <laughs> let's see. I think a lot of it is just the fact that I don't have much equipment on me. I just have my two binoculars. I've got first aid kits, three scopes, uh, my ammo, and then I've got very lightweight weapons. Like the uh, 357... The um, 22 Hornet and the 22 LR are all pretty light, so we can carry quite a few of them. Let's see how this goes, though. Hey, Hollow, how's it going? Oh, wow. A Jackal. A level 7 Jackal, even. Interesting way to start the day out. Nice, Panda. That's awesome, dude. I don't know, the dog. We'll see how things go. It was also level five. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Do we get to choose what guns get removed? Yes. Well, it's whoever whoever donates gets to choose what item I remove from my inventory. So whoever is the donator will get to choose what I remove. And it can be literally any item in my inventory, so... This is going to be interesting. Let's grab our little dude right here. 2540. Beautiful. Alright, let's head down to the lake. You were kicked from the server. Amazing! Amazing. Well, thanks, Call of the Wild. Appreciate it. 
You know, I, I didn't I didn't want to play that server anyway. <laughs> I didn't want to play that one anyway. Uh, let's go with this eight o'clock one. What's the loadout again? A lot of different uh, things. <laughs> oh, gee, gaming, that's just mean, man. You know what? Just just because you said that, I'm gonna add another pair of binoculars into my loadout. I gotta gotta future proof us for that, you know. Let's uh, get rid of a sight, I think, or not a sight. Let's get rid of a gun. Get rid of the 357, and we will get that. And oh, I can't fit those. Let's get rid of the night vision then, and we'll do that one. We got this. <laughs> I gotta prepare. <laughs> I gotta prepare us for uh, what may come soon. Let's do the rangefinder here, and then there's the regular binoculars. <laughs> this is the most interesting loadout I've ever used, I think. It's been a while since I've used a loadout quite this unique, we'll say. <laughs> yeah, true, I can spot through my scope, but it's definitely not as easy to do it when you're running around. Uh, Ben coming in with the super chat. Thank you so much, man. 300? Ah, of course you're gonna do it to me. Of course you're gonna do it to me. You know, it, you did donate 9.99, but I'll count that as $10, so... Uh, let's get rid of the 300 Magnum. Time to get rid of the 300. Uh, you know what? I think what I'll do... Nah, we'll go back to the lodge and get rid of it completely. But thank you, Ben. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dude. Let's get rid of that uh, 300 Magnum now. Uh, of course. Of course, the 300's the first to go. You will be missed. You will be missed. Alright, let's replace it with uh, the 22 Hornet. This is gonna be interesting. I think the only rule that we'll have for this is that I have to keep at least one weapon on me. So, like, we can't get rid of every weapon I have. I gotta have at least one weapon at the end of this. That's really the only rule that I think we'll set, is I have to have one gun on me. Everything else is up for grabs, though. Oh, yeah, medkits would have been an evil one to get rid of because the Cape Buffalo definitely liked to attack. <laughs> That would have been a good one, for sure. What weapon comes with Silver Ridge Peaks? It is the longbow, I believe. Yeah, it's the longbow. Even your backpack? I mean, I don't wear a backpack, Cr Crow Scare. I don't wear a backpack. The only thing that I have that increases uh, capacity is where is it i have the pack mule perk so i don't actually use a backpack pack mule gives you like an extra three units it's amazing oh random hunter uh we won't go too close to him uh no lucan it is like a it's basically like every donation over ten dollars so if it's like 20, that doesn't count as two items because it's still like a single donation. I had to get the 22 pistol, couldn't find it. It's weapon pack three, I believe. I think it is. Okay, there's some Gemsbach. So we can hunt basically everything except lions and Cape Buffalo now. So I'm probably going to stay away from those. Gotcha, Crow Scare. Gotcha. Uh, skill points you stop getting after you hit max level uh, JM. Or JMU pilot. I think once you hit like level 30, you start getting them like every other level or every three levels. And then once you hit level 60, you don't get them anymore. True, I can still hunt them, but if we see like a diamond one, then I won't be able to take it out. 
because I don't want to purposely mess one up. I'll probably, if we find a diamond of a Cape Buffalo or, or a um, lion, then I think we'll probably just give it away. Because I don't want to mess it up, you know? So I think if we end up finding ourselves a diamond cape or a diamond lion, I'll definitely give it away to you guys. I'll have one of you come over and take it down. I think that could be fun anyways. Hey, Mountain Rocker, how's it going? All right, Ben, no worries, man. Hey, TL, how's it going, dude? Glad you can make the stream. Uh, maybe Thunder, man. I'm trying to think. No, it would be pack three because pack four would be the smoking barrels weapon pack. And then pack five is the AR pack, so it would be pack three. That's a good spring buck. You know, I got a feeling that we're going to find like a diamond or a rare and then somebody's going to delete the gun that we're going to use to take it like right as I find it. I just got a feeling that something like that's going to happen. I feel like there's some people with some plans out there. Uh, let's take this out. Get a little spring buck action. What great one do I want the most? A uh, black tail deer. Definitely would like to see a black tail deer or either the elk species or a mule deer or a Sika deer. Those are my five favorites. <laughs> Don't give ideas. Hey, I'm just saying it would be funny. So what is this challenge? Uh, so basically every time we get a donation that's uh, $10 or more, I I will let that person take away an item from my inventory. So... For example, Ben donated $10 earlier and chose to remove the 300 from my loadout. So I'm now running around without a class 9 weapon. I just have these four. So yeah, if this is going to get interesting. Literally any item in my inventory is up for grabs. The only real rule to it is I have to keep at least one weapon in my inventory at all times. So yeah. But it's going to be pretty interesting. It's already pretty interesting. We've already lost the 300 Magnum, so... Rest in pieces to our chances at any Diamond Cape Buffalo or Lions. 100.40. A good one would be getting rid of binoculars. Yes, that is that is definitely something that I took into account as well. So I've got three different uh, optics on me. I've got myself the, uh, the basic rangefinder. Then we've also got ourselves the rangefinding binoculars. And we've got the regular binoculars. Just in case somebody does decide to remove one of them. Honestly, I kind of like the look of the regular binoculars. I haven't used these in so long I'd forgot like how nice it is to have the middle cleared. Maybe I'll keep this on me. In uh, future hunts. Because it actually is pretty nice to be able to uh, look at animals without having the uh, little crosshair in the middle. It is kind of nice. Hey, Caden, how's it going, man? Uh, so basically what we're doing is every time somebody donates at least $10, they get to remove an item from my loadout. It's uh, going to be pretty interesting. Oh, they're still here, Creed. Also, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Float Goat usually joins a little bit later in the streams. Hunting lions and found a mythical, thought it was a diamond, and remembered it has to be a nine. Nice, dude. I mean, you know, mythicals are still good. We got something down here. Hello there. Oh, I was about to freak out. I was going to say, I swear, if that is a nine, I'm going to be really sad. But it's just an eight, so we're good. We're good. Uh-oh. Do I hear a cape? I do. Okay, that's a seven. Um, But it's aggressive, so uh, we'll have to deal with that. Get the trusty AR out. 
Uh, yeah, sure, Fusion. I mean, if somebody wanted to just swap a weapon out, they could do that as well. Like, if somebody wanted to swap something in my inventory, that's also a possibility. Nice, Creed. That's awesome, man. Glad to hear it. And also, it's good to see you back. Was the 300 Magnum the only class 9? Yeah, Thunderman, it was the only class 9 I had on me. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really take in that into account. But I've got quite a few other weapons on me. And uh, depending on what gets removed, because it's not just uh, weapons that you can remove, like people can remove anything in my loadout. But uh, if it does come to it, I tried to fit as many weapons in my loadout as I could. We had a total of five. And so we'll always be able to hunt something, most likely. Ah, no, Colin. It's, uh, it's just like stuff in my loadout. Technically, yes, KNX. Somebody could. Somebody could remove the ammo if they wanted to. And then I would be forced to use soft points, so that'd be interesting. Someone take the... Okay, I already read that. When do you think the next map will come out? I'm going to assume mid-June. Mid to late June, I imagine. My guess is we'll see early access in early June, and then the map release will probably be mid to late June. Hard to say, though. What would I say the best DLC is? Either the AR pack or the tripod DLC. Those are two of the more important ones, I'd say. Because the ARs are just incredible and the tripods are so good for grinding. Yeah, Creed, we've been having some, uh, I think, I think since you, since you stopped watching streams, the stream's actually grown quite a bit. During the release of Mississippi Acres, we had upwards of 500 people in here, which was by far the most I'd ever seen in a stream. And uh, recently, it's been chilling around 1.30 to 2.30. But for a while, we were peaking at over 300 viewers for most of the streams. But right now, there kind of is a downtime with Call of the Wild where we haven't had an update in like two months. And it's probably like a month until the next update, so uh, things are kind of at a, a calm a calm down period, I guess. Yeah, Creed, it, it has been a little while since you've been here, so I do remember those streams. I think the most needed DLC is the Goose one for easy and quick money. A true burger, that is a good one. And actually, the more I think about it, after this next update, the Duck DLC might actually be one of the top ones to use. You know, I feel like I should do a video talking about the Duck DLC. Because of this Waterfowl rework, I do think that it'll probably be a good idea to cover everything that is included in the Duck DLC. And talk about, like, its usefulness with this next update. I might wait until I actually get to try the new map in order to do that video, but I definitely think I need to make a... Uh, a duck DLC guide or I guess showcase Are piebald axis deer rare? Yes, Caden, they are. They didn't used to be but now they actually are Don't see anything out here When is Finland coming out? Uh, nobody knows but it'll most likely be in June at some point hard to say exactly when all right, let's try a different server. Let's see. Let's do a Silver Ridge Peaks. Unfortunately, we won't be able to shoot any Diamond Bison if we see them, so that's going to be a bit of an unfortunate downside. Uh, Melanistic? Yes, Blake, but the Piebald are not. Can we remove the dog? I mean, that's not really in my loadout. The dog isn't really a part of my loadout. What's the easiest diamond? Probably mountain lions. Which that's actually what we're going to check out now. 
We probably will, Fusion. I'm going to play a lot of different maps today. We're just going to kind of switch it up. Uh, keep the variety going. Can we remove the PC? <laughs> no, that's, that's not really a part of my loadout again. My PC isn't a part of my loadout. It, it's what enables me to use loadouts in Call of the Wild. <laughs> Speaking of loadouts, when do you guys think we'll get the loadouts feature in Call of the Wild? I would really like to see that become a thing. Like, hopefully sometime soon. Colton, thank you for removing, re removing, renewing your membership. I really appreciate it, man. That's 11 months as a member. That's crazy. 11 months as a member. Much appreciated for the uh, continued support, man. Really appreciate it. Where are all the mountain lions? Like, they should be here. We'll check here, I guess, but that's so strange to not see them. Hey, and how's it going? With all the goose in the new map, do you think it'll be a good map for money? Oh, definitely, SK. I think it'll be a great one for money. This new map might be the best money-making map now. I, I guess we'll have to see, because I don't know exactly how much money each of them is going to give. But if it's anything like the current uh, species, like the current fowl species in the game, I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah, fusion, savable loadouts. I'd love to see that added to the game. I hope we get them soon. Especially now that we've got a waterfowl map where our loadout's going to be completely different from other maps. It'd be really nice to just be able to quickly switch between loadouts. Gonna get the loadout drop in 2028? Oh, I hope it's sooner than that. I really hope it's sooner than that. Hey Hudson, you haven't missed too much. Uh, the only thing that you've missed is... We had our first donation come through, and Ben decided to remove the 300 Magnum from our loadout, so we have absolutely no Class 9 weapon, which is going to be interesting. So that's unfortunate. When Elon Musk owns everything, Elon buys out Call of the Wild. That's going to be, uh, that, that would be great. Then we could have Teslas in Call of the Wild, and we could be playing on Mars. It'd be great. Call of the Wild would be the most popular game in the world with uh, Teslas and Mars. Is a male red deer rare? Yes, Jackson, that's very rare. I still don't have a male uh, melanistic on my main account. They are very, very rare. Almost as rare as finding anything good is today. Oh. I mean, it's a mythical at least. Ooh. That's a mythical too. I'm kind of more interested in the gray mythical, not gonna lie. That's a little more interesting. But we can take out that one as well. Beautiful. What multi mounts do I think are gonna come with the new map? I feel like, I think we'll get one that has all of the goose species and then one that has all of the duck species. At least that's what I'm hoping for. It would be good to see something cool like that. You know, it's called the wild. He would have like some kind of electric gun that's like a blaster or something. Probably, probably would not uh, doubt it. Thirty-eight, and let's see about this gray one. There we go. Thirty-eight point ten. Beautiful. You know, honestly, this map's pretty unsearched from what I can tell. Like, there's no need zones. This is amazing. 
Uh, technically, yes, fusion, but that's always been a thing. It's just so excessively rare that only one or two have ever been shot. That's the thing about like a, a level eight diamond mountain lion is it's so rare that there's probably only two or three that have ever been killed. But technically anything can make diamond one level below max. But for some species like the mountain lion or the lion or red deer, it's so incredibly rare that only a couple people have ever been able to have it happen. It's pretty crazy. 9 to 11. New update Martians weapon pack featuring laser guns, big blasters, and finally, goo gadgets. Holy. 10 out of 10. Would play that update. Oh, hello there, muleys. Okay, where's the mountain lion? There it is. It's gonna say it's spooking stuff off, so there's gotta be a mountain lion near. And sure enough, not where I was expecting it to be, though. Now there's gotta be one closer. There has to be a closer one. Oh, there it is. That's a one. What a big male, or big female. Uh, nothing yet, Willy. Nothing yet. Another three. Three. All right, let's move to another lake. Take a guess on your first diamond, bison. Nice, dude. Nice. That's a decent four. That's a three. That's a two. Well, we're going in the wrong direction. We're going in the wrong direction, man. Redneck J, thank you for the 16 month membership. That's wild, dude. 16 months as a member. It, it's hard to believe that I've even been on YouTube for that long. That's crazy, dude. Really appreciate the continued support. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, where are all these mountain lions, huh? Hiding from me. Oh, there it is. Mythical again. Now, if only we could just find ourselves like a, uh, a super rare, you know, that'd be great. Just give us a, a super rare uh, mountain lion, you know, nothing too crazy. Just a mountain lion. That'd be a uh, 10 out of 10, please. How long have I been on YouTube? Uh, just over two years. I think it's been like two years and two months. Something like that. Um, if there's no option to become a member diffusion, uh, typically that means that you're on a device that doesn't support it. However, you can still access it through the link right there in chat. I believe it's iOS devices that don't have the join button. Which is uh, still very strange. I don't know why they made it like that. YouTube has some interesting, uh, some interesting things missing from certain platforms. Like if I remember right, uh, tablets still don't have the community tab. Tablets don't have the community tab. iOS devices don't have the join button. It's just so strange to see that YouTube leaves these things out from certain devices. Really doesn't make sense. You'd think that a company like YouTube that has, you know, billions of dollars would be able to make it so that every platform has everything in the app, but, uh, apparently they still can't do that. I just don't get it. Jeez, Redneck Jay, that's wild, man. 
That's crazy. I think my longest uh, subscription is to Flinter as well. I think I've been subbed to him on YouTube for like 19 or 20 months. Something like that. Where's all the big males? They're just hiding out today. Really unfortunate. Alright, later, Simon. 30 months, jeez, dude, that's wild. It's over two years. Medved has more servers than Rancho right now? It does? That's insane. They should add a multi-mount with two bull moose fighting. That'd be cool. I'm definitely down for more multi-mounts. I feel like that's one of the most important things to uh, keeping things fresh for us is having more mounts to build and grind for. Because, you know, after a new map is out for a while and you've got all the diamonds and rares, it kind of uh, does get stale. So if we had more multi-mounts, that would give us more things to grind for. Although, with this new map, I think uh, running out of stuff to grind for isn't really going to be a problem since there's 19 different species. That's going to be quite a bit of species to try and get diamonds and rares for. Have you got any great ones yet? Not today, Logan. There were only four Verhonga servers up earlier in the week. That's crazy. Verhonga normally has, like, tons Um, I think that was a mountain lion. Could be wrong, but I think it was. Hey, Hermosa, how's it going? Not the best at aiming at geese, just messed up a five, disappointed myself. It happens, Shelly. I've done that before with uh, different trophies. Everybody has some uh, rough days or some uh, particular parts of the game that they're not the best at. Like, I am terrible at hitting ducks that are flying. I am terrible at it, at least with the 22, so I'm excited for this duck rework so I can use shotguns more. Because I am really bad at uh, using the um, 22 for hunting ducks. Alright, let's go check here. If it would ever load. There we go. Seven. Yeah, same fusion, same. Nice gaming life. That is super awesome. Hey, Amanda, you haven't missed much. So far, we've had one donation come through, and Ben decided to remove the 300 Magnum from our loadout, so as of now, we're running around with no Class 9 weapon. So, yeah, we're already off to an interesting start. How many Diamond Geese do I have? I think four or five. Maybe more, even. It's probably a little bit more, but I can't really remember. All right, let's go check for some pronghorn. We'll kind of run around these lakes. Nice, Sherry. Just got a guaranteed diamond musk here. Nice, Owen, that's awesome. Oh no, Randy. I probably wouldn't do that because I know people would remove my great ones. 
So yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's a solid pronghorn. Like, that's not bad at all. Let's take it out. Boop. Nice, Chucky. That's awesome. I don't even have a melanistic road ear. I badly want one, but they're so rare. They are so incredibly difficult to find. Nice, Jeremiah. Just got my first great one. Whitetail messed him up, so he's a gold, but still happy I got him. Yeah, I mean, regardless of whether or not it has the metal, it still has that incredible rack, so... Still really cool, uh, wild boy. That's the thing about the great ones, is it's one of the few trophies where... Even if you mess it up... It still is going to be, like, more special than 90% of other trophies. Which is, uh, the cool thing about the great ones, like, you have that unique rack regardless. Alright, not seeing anything crazy down here. What are you? A four. All right, let's go claim this one. Hey, Billy, how's it going? Have a max uh, female Gemsbok? Nice, dude. Those are very hard to find. Bow hunting geese on Xbox? Ooh, that sounds difficult. I'm doing pretty good, Billy. Doing pretty good. 8690. That's towards the high end of that estimate. Not bad. All right, Hollow. Nice, Logan. That's awesome. How many guns do I have? I think I've got like seven. If I'm not mistaken. I think I have seven. Let me, let me think. Uh, no, maybe it's six. I think I have six, actually. Talk to my phone and keep an eye on chat. All right, Hollow. No worries. Nice, Jackson. That's awesome. All right, what map do we do now? Let's do some Leighton, you know? I do enjoy me some Leighton Lakes. What level did I get my first diamond? I believe it was 51. So it took me quite a while. Yeah, DG. And we're... Okay. Amazing. Why do you have a multiplayer server up if you're kicking people out of it? We got some, uh... We got some bright people that bring up servers sometimes. And of course, that's the only server up... Actually, there's one more that's at, uh, Blacktail Time. Jeez, Chucky, that's a big one. That is a big male. Nice, Cole. That's not bad, dude. Better than I was doing. Definitely quicker than I got mine. Uh, 
Uh, sadly, no fusion. Because everything is saved locally on Call of the Wild, there's really no way to do that. That's a weird white tail. That's a solid buck. Solid bucks and not so solid ducks. That guy's okay. That's a good one. Hey, bro, bro, how's it going, dude? Nice, Hollow. Um, no, there's going to be more than just the Gaia 2 mod. There's also the Gaia 2 Wyverns, um, Gaia 2 Beacons, and Gaia 2... Uh, you know, I'll just screenshot it for you, okay? I'll just screenshot the uh, mod list for that ARC server. Because there was uh, a, quite a few mods I added to it. But uh, we did get it up and running last night. Uh, myself, my wife, and Caitlin all jumped on there and played for a little bit. So I'll just send you a screenshot of all the ones that we have on that server. Also, it looks like uh, putting the correct speed on my RAM definitely helps with my uh, PC's performance while I'm streaming. You guys remember how I was having trouble like uh, crashing every time I'd try to tab out? And uh, like the stream would crash or my game would crash or freeze or it would just take forever for Discord to work properly. Um, I'm not having that issue now that I set my RAM to the correct uh, frequency, so that's good. I still can't believe that I did not know that you have to manually set the frequency on your RAM to get it to match its uh, max frequency that it can reach. Mine was defaulted to 2133 megahertz when it can max at 3200. And so this whole time I was getting like the minimum possible performance. And now that I've actually upped my RAM to uh, 3200 megahertz, everything's been running nice. Like everything's been running so much better. I can't believe I didn't know that. Luke is coming in with the super chat. Holy! Swap the 308 with the 454. I like the way you're thinking, man. I like the way you're thinking. Let's go do that. Thank you for the super chat once again. It's very generous of you. Very generous of you to go beyond that uh, $10 uh, donation and go clear up to the 20. Really appreciate it. Super, super generous. Just got a diamond rocky. Nice hunt. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is Harold still alive? Yes, he is, Logan. We still have Harold. Harold is still alive and well. Get rid of the 308 and 454 it is. Here we go. Um, do you want me to use a scope with it, Lucas? Should I use a scope or no? Because I don't have the scope on me, but if you want me to use a scope, we can do that. Oh, you said Harold, not Gerald. Yes, Harold is still alive. We left him alive. He's still just chilling. You can use the scope? Okay, so we'll grab the scope for it. We will grab the scope. Uh, Law Boy, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Much appreciated, man. Hope your day's been going good. Hope your day has been going great. Let's get... Where is it? There we go. Alright, 454. This is gonna be interesting. You have a Ronald? Nice, but nice, Michael. Next donation should be about what maps I hunt. That could be a fun one. Like we change maps every time a donation comes through. Could be interesting. Harold and Gerald need some time at the end of the stream. Thoughts? We could go visit them, I guess. 
at least go see how they're doing. I'm down for that. On Xbox, the game crashes every time I try to get into my trophy lodge. Do you think I should email EW about it? I would... I definitely would, Edge. However, don't do an email. Um, this is actually something that is pretty important. Whenever you have an issue, when it comes to like a bug in Call of the Wild, or if you need help with anything, make a support ticket on their website. So just go into Google and type the Hunter Call of the Wild support. And... Just file a support ticket because you're much more likely to get help through there. And it's also a better way to let the team know where issues are. Because uh, that's their primary way to determine what bugs need to be fixed in the game. So always do their support ticket if possible. It's definitely a much better way to do it than an email or in Discord. Definitely recommend doing the support ticket if you want a uh, much quicker and more likely response. How can you get the handgun scope? Just by using your handguns a lot. The more uh, handgun score you get, eventually you'll end up unlocking it with the handgun score. Nice, Edge. Yeah. Anytime that you guys have issues, be sure to use their support tickets on their support site. Which is, you know, just Google the Hunter Call of the Wild support and it should bring it up. That is the best way to get your issues uh, looked at. Is there any reason I prefer not to use the Argus scope? I use it, Yerson. I use both the scopes. I use both of them depending on the situation. If I'm in a situation where I need to make a quick follow-up shot, I use the Hyperion because it's got less zoom, it takes up less of the screen, so it's not quite as bulky looking, and so I can more easily move to the next target quickly. Uh, if I'm taking a long-range shot, I use the Argus, so it really depends on the situation. First time geese hunting, do they not have a zone? No, they don't have zones. So what you do with geese is you place all the decoys in one of the fields and then you start calling. And eventually you'll end up getting some geese there. But the geese will only go to areas where you have the decoys. Geese are a very unique species in Call of the Wild. Nice, Gina. Just looked up and saw a level 3, thought it was a whitetail. Oh yeah, I've done that so many times, man. Like, if I'm hunting whitetail and I spot a level 3 blacktail, it tricks me every time. Every single time I get tricked by it. That's a little male. Didn't expect to see a male up here. Usually I just see females. Hey, Caden, we're currently on Leighton Lakes. Biggest whitetail? My biggest diamond is 291. Uh, my biggest whitetail in general was a 643 great one. I think it was 643 at least. What's my favorite map to grind any great one? I like Tiawaroa for Red Deer to be honest. Tiawaroa is by far the most consistent and easiest grind. However, I've been pretty unlucky with not getting many good great one respawns. But uh, so many other people have had such insane luck with Tiawaroa, and it really is the most consistent map for, like, good spawns. Like, I've killed so many diamonds and rares off of Tiawaroa. Okay, I don't see anything too crazy here. Uh, since we just got the 454 in the loadout, let's take this out. <laughs> and because that's so satisfying. That is so satisfying to do. <laughs> I love that with the 454, you can just take a shot from any angle and get vitals. It's so overpowered. I love it. Want a big rat, great one, whitetail. They do look pretty crazy, Thunderman. They are pretty wild looking. Hey, Stephanie, how's it going? Good to see you. Can't stay long, but like the idea, Crow. Have a good stream. Thank you, Dustin. And I appreciate you dropping by at least. Always good to see you in chat. 
Oh, this poor thing. Uh, we could probably do a Texas hard shot. Like, if we find a diamond, we're doing a Texas hard shot. We just have to. Mess up a 271 red deer. Oh no, Jackson. That's sad, man. That's so sad. That's that's something that is incredibly rare in Call of the Wild. So that that pains me to hear. Elk? White tail? You know, if we could find ourselves a rare elk, that'd be really cool. I don't have a lot of them, so I would love to find some. Got more whitetail running that way. I swear, if we find, like, a, a super rare whitetail in multiplayer, I don't know what I'll do. Probably freak out a little. Uh, Duxton, thank you for renewing your membership for two months in a row. Welcome back and much appreciated, my dude. How do I get a thing where I can see the deer's health? Uh, you have to level up your spotting skill. So if you go into the skills tab and then go to ambusher, it's right here. Spotting knowledge, tier one. It doesn't take too long to get to it, so I'd recommend putting all the points in here. You only need to put one point into it to get the health, but the rest of the stuff's pretty useful as well, so I'd level it up all the way. If you kill a fence rack whitetail, does it have a possibility of becoming a fence rack great one? Um, I mean, I, I don't think there's... Wait, what, what would be the fence rack great one? What would be the equivalent of a fence rack great one? I mean, technically, any buck could come back as a great one. Um, obviously, the smaller it is, the less chance there is, but regardless, anything can come back as anything. So there is always the chance that it could become a great one. It's just not as likely as a uh, like a diamond or a max weight coming back as a great one. That's a big male. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's the biggest rare elk I've ever seen in my life! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Guys, this is insane! Oh my gosh, I've never seen a rare Roosevelt that big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, we gotta be careful with this stock. I don't want to uh, mess this thing up. Oh my gosh. I Yes, I literally just was talking about how I haven't seen a big rare Roosevelt in ages. Actually, ever really. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try and calm down. We gotta stock up to this thing. This is insane. That thing is huge, guys. That thing is huge. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hollow. <laughs> I don't know where he went, though. That's the only problem here. I don't remember where he went. We got to be careful. We got to be so, so careful. For those of you that are watching the stream that are in the server as well, don't mention it in chat. Because uh, some hosts will kick you if they know that you have something on their map. So we'll, we'll see what we can do here. <laughs> we'll see if we can find this thing. Can we get this big male down? I'm going to have my handgun ready. Because I may need to fire off a quick shot. Okay, here's his tracks. Uh, oh my oh my gosh. He's right here, I think. Is this him? Is this him? It might be. Uh the wind is awful. Oh no. This wind is terrible. I 
I can't tell if this is him or not. And that wind is not cooperating at all. Um... Alright, we're just gonna have to run up here and see. Because the wind is not uh, in our favor at all. I don't think it's actually him. I don't think this is him. The tracks don't look like it, at least. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's with some big fours as well. That actually works out perfectly. He's in a good spot. He's actually in a really good spot, which is amazing. This might be the first time in a while where we're actually going to have a rare that we've spooked actually chill in a good spot for once. Like, this is not common that they actually go to an area we can see them well. Okay, they're nervous traveling. Uh, that's actually good for us. That's actually good. This is actually going to work out exactly how I need it, I think. Oh, yeah, it is. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, my gosh. We got it. Oh, my gosh, guys. We just got the biggest rare Roosevelt that I have ever seen in Call of the Wild. I've never killed a level 4 rare Roosevelt. This guy is a first for me. And at this point with over, like what, 3,500 or 4,000 hours, I don't even know how many hours I've got in the game as of now. I think it's close to 4,000. I've, for, for it to be something that I've never killed, that's a rarity nowadays. With as much time as I put in the game, it's not too often we get a trophy we've never seen. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to pick it up the second we get up there. I don't want to have anything weird happen with multiplayer. Let's just get this guy picked up. And oh my gosh, tax that immediately. That's a beautiful piebald. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, man. That's gorgeous. What a beauty. That is officially my largest rare Roosevelt ever. So beautiful, man. So beautiful. So it looks like this guy is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a 5x5, five five, so it's very good looking 5x5. Five five. Very nice tall rack, even. It's kind of like a, a tall rack version of a piebald. It's kind of like a smaller version of Casey's tall rack, to be honest. Look at that. That's such a unique piebald elk to get. That is probably the coolest thing that I have killed in a few months because I mean since the super rare whitetails we haven't really had anything too wild so it's been like what maybe a month month and a half since we got something crazy like this that's awesome that is so awesome and incredibly rare as well rare Roosevelt's even the piebalds are just so hard to find I'm blown away right now it's so rare that we get a uh, crazy Crazy kill like this. That is awesome. That is super awesome. All right, well, let's move along and see if we can find anything else crazy today. I can't believe we got that down with the handgun as well. Like, you know, I really appreciate uh, Lucas removing our 308 and adding the 454 because that made that moment like 10 times more intense and 10 times more rewarding feeling. That was great. That was really awesome. Uh, yes, Josh, I do have one albino. It's a pretty small one, though. It was just a level two. That is crazy. That is insane. Watch it be like a corgi elk. Oh, gosh. The corgi elk were something, man. I remember those corgi elk. I wasn't doing YouTube when that was a thing, but they were interesting. What's my favorite white tail great one rack? I like the typical looking rack. It's a pretty hard one to find, but I do think it is the nicest and most realistic looking. Uh, and then the drop time rack is also really cool. And then I think my third favorite is the cluster rack. Oh, 
<laughs> what are are you joking? Are you absolutely joking right now? Are you actually joking right now? There's no way. <laughs> a level five. A level five. <laughs> Dude, that was that was right next to that uh to that piebald. <laughs> what is our luck right now? This is insane. This is insane. Oh, it's definitely not, Joe. I mean, we've spotted a ton of animals before these and saw nothing. One thing that I can tell you guys, if this was a modded server, there would be multiple diamond ducks in this group and there's zero. So, I don't know what more proof you would need. Every single one of these ducks is just a normal duck. No, it's not hacked, Thunderman. You guys can easily tell when a server is hacked because the weight will not match up with the score. So, for example, you'll get stuff like a uh, level 6 Bobcat that has a max weight estimate weight range. That is the types of things that you see on modded servers. This is definitely not one. Yeah, it is a lot of duck smash. It's been like that every server that I've gone to this lake. This lake is by far the best duck lake. It's incredible. I don't know where this uh, blacktail is going to go. So let's just chill here. We'll wait for it to come back. We are hidden in this spot, so we should be okay. Ah. Um. <laughs> hey? Um, when did you come back, huh? We are fully hidden in this spot, so we should be okay. Yeah, nothing good th for these ducks. Yeah, just remember, Joe, when it's on the internet through um, text chat, it's uh, impossible for people to tell if you're being sarcastic or not, so you gotta take that into account. Sarcasm doesn't really translate well through text. It, uh, nine times out of ten will not come over as sarcasm so you got to kind of take that into account in the future where is this guy where has he headed off to we're just going to slowly move up and uh, see if we can figure out where he is yeah, that's that doe she noticed we moved um Hopefully she doesn't spook him off. I don't think she will, though. We gotta figure out if this guy's even gonna come back, because sometimes they don't. Yeah, I don't know, DG. I think because there is such a rampant cheating issue in multiplayer, people are skeptical. It's just how it is. But at this point, I'm, uh... Pretty confident that 99% of you guys understand that I'm very against mods. And that I would rather instead put in the time to actually learn how to find the big trophies. So I'm not really too worried about it. I know that most of you guys know how I really feel about things like mods. Where is this guy? This is a little bit uh, concerning that he's not coming back yet. We're fully hidden here, so we can kind of take a second to glass around. All right, let's just try to slowly move around and figure out where this guy went. Because at this point, I don't know what direction that he has decided to go off in. We saw him run off, but he should have come back by now. Yeah, Blake, we're currently looking for a level 5 blacktail deer. We just spotted him running off, and we're trying to figure out where he went. Oh, 
Hi. Um. Okay, these aren't him. This is a completely different group. We're gonna need the light now, unfortunately. I didn't bring the night vision binox, so that's gonna be a little unfortunate. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's right there. He is right there. Oh no. It's not a Texas heart shot, but it's about the only shot we're gonna get, so we're gonna take it. That was zero to 100 real quickly. He just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Uh, I think this is small rack. I was wrong. That's no, it is. No, it is small rack. That's just a big small rack. Wow, that actually is pretty nice. That's a small rack black tail with good tip to tip spread. That's so rare to find. Look at the spread on these tines. Uh, the uh, tip to tip is really good and the overall spread is really good because these two tines actually stick out pretty far. That's a good one. Like, if we're going to find a small rack blacktail, this is the one to find because it actually has good tip to tip and good overall spread. That's a rarity with the uh, small rack blacktail. I'm happy with that. This is probably the nicest small rack blacktail I've found. That's a cool one. That's a really cool one for sure. Like I was saying, very rare to find a small rack that looks this good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get a uh, close-up screenshot like this real quick. Not bad, not bad, guys. So we got a diamond and a piebald from this server so far. This is why I really like uh, looking at some of these servers that are unhunted or for the most part unhunted because a lot of times people will not have found trophies like this. Like this one right here. There's like, um, there was barely any zones throughout these areas until I ran through here, which means most likely that area has not been hunted by the host. And it's the same with over here. Like all these zones don't have drink zones and these are pretty good blacktail areas. So we could maybe even find some good stuff there. But that's the biggest thing I look for when I'm hunting multiplayer. I look for uh, maps that don't have a lot of drink zones. Because if you look for a map that doesn't have a lot of drink zones, there's a high chance that people have not hunted those drink zones. And so you can find some pretty cool trophies that way. And that's definitely what happened here. Uh, however, the time's not great. 19. We're pretty much at the end of Blacktail time. There is still a bit of time, so we'll check this lake, but it's going to be interesting. Chris popped out of place, so I'm having to comment full words because I'm in hor horrible pain. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, Thunderman. That's not fun. A big small rack? I know, Crosscare. It's wild, dude. That's rare. All right, later, Thunderman. What is my biggest Rocky? Um, I think 509 is my biggest. Three diamonds within 30 minutes, I meant. Wait, I know this sounds unrealistic, but I just got my third diamond red deer in my grind and they all have scored over 265. Thir three in 30 minutes? Oh, that doesn't sound unrealistic, Joe. I've had that happen at least three times on the Tiawaroa grind. It's been a pretty common thing for me to see a lot of red deer uh, level nines show up in a short amount of time. In fact, I find that in most cases for at least my Tiawaroa red deer grind, I'll go a few hundred kills with nothing and then I'll have like three or four level nines within like 200 kills. It happens pretty commonly, a lot more often than you'd think. What's the rarest diamond? Um, there's obviously going to be a lot of different opinions when it comes to the rarest diamond. I personally think the rarest diamond is probably Lynx. Lynx are very hard to find diamonds of. And then Quail. Quail are the other one that's very rare. Quail and Lynx, I say, are the two rarest. And Musk Deer as well. Those are probably the top three rarest diamonds. At least uh, in my experience, those are rare.
Nice, Hudson. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on that first diamond. Glad you were able to get your first one. Had three diamond mountain lions in one run. Four level nines found in multiplayer. One messed up, one diamond, and two trolls. Jeez, Johnny, that's wild. Uh, when did you jump into the stream, Johnny? I don't know if you missed the two trophies that we just got. Because we had some pretty crazy stuff. Is that... Oh, no. Is that what I think it is? It is. <laughs> what is our luck today? Like I was saying, guys, unhunted servers, they're the way to go. Unhunted servers are the way to go. Uh, that's just a four there. Little coyote. This is why I look for servers with no need zones. Because you find stuff like this. This is exactly why I preach about finding servers with no drink zones. Because every once in a while you'll get a server like this where there's just trophy after trophy. Now it doesn't happen super often that you get three in like 30 minutes like we're getting right now, but you do find these every once in a while. Once in a blue moon you will find a server that produces like this. There we go. We got it down with the 243. That's wild. This is the best multiplayer luck we've had in months, guys. Like, literal months. What trophies did I get? Uh, we ended up getting a level 4 rosy elk, piebald, and a diamond black tail deer. They really are, Johnny. Fresh servers are insane. They're crazy. Even, like, uh, on your own servers, like non-multiplayer ones, fresh servers are always the greatest. I remember when Tiawaroa dropped... My first run through on the map trying to unlock everything, I got two rare turkeys and a melanistic female red deer. All side by side, like literally all three of them were side by side. This is why I always look for fresh servers. Because the trophy count is really much higher. Nine times out of ten, you'll find better trophies on fresh servers. How long am I going to uh, stream? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Probably just however long I feel like streaming today. I'm having a lot of fun right now since we're getting some good luck for once. So I might stream slightly longer than normal. We'll see. Most likely we're not going to keep this one because it is just a female piebald, which I really don't need any more female piebalds in my lodge. But uh, we'll at least take a look at it. Where did it go? Um, excuse me? Where are you? And we don't have our dog either because this server doesn't allow dogs. Uh, well, this is going to be fun. Now we just got to find this thing. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Finally. You know, for a second, I thought we were going to lose it because of the tracks disappearing, but we found it. There we go. There we go. Highballed female black tail deer. Yeah, today's a crazy day, man. Today's crazy, Bambo. It's been a while since we've had a, a good run like this on stream. So it's nice to see. A good multiplayer run, that is. Nice, Edge. That's awesome, dude. I know, Johnny. It's going to be crazy. So let, let's talk about that for a second, actually, since you mentioned it, Johnny. For those of you that uh, have not heard, this next update is going to reset 10 maps. So 10 different maps are, are going to be getting a population reset and a population redistribution, which means every single map except Silver Ridge Peaks is going to have fresh populations for everybody. Multiplayer is going to be a gold mine for a few weeks after this release. So if you guys have any diamonds or rares that you're missing, this update is going to be the one to start grinding that species in multiplayer. Like, for example, I still need a Melanistic Red Deer, so I'm probably going to do a bunch of multiplayer hopping for Red Deer. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, but just be prepared for this update because there's going to be a lot of population resets. There's going to be a lot of crazy trophies being found. You guys will probably see a very high uptick in uh, crazy trophies being posted in all the discords. So, just be ready for that. 
there's going to be a very high uptick in trophies being found. Yes, check your maps before and after the update for sure. Definitely, Holocrow, definitely. I will have to do the same because they're, they're literally redoing all the maps, so... There's going to be so much exploring to do, it's going to be crazy. Ooh, you better find it, Ashley. You better find it. I would recommend checking every bit of water during their drink time. Check every inch of water until you find that thing. Definitely, Johnny. Same here. Same here. What's the rarest rare in my lodge? I'd say my Piebald Diamond Whitetail would be the rarest rare. If you're talking about just the fur type's rarity in general, I'd have to say my Melanistic Pheasant is probably the rarest, uh, the rarest rare in my lodge. But if we're talking about just in general rarity, the super rare Whitetail's gotta be it. What does a piebald female moose look like? Um, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like a light brown with some white patches. Hey, Justin, how's it going, dude? Why do I think they're leaving SRP out of the pop reset? My take on it is probably because SRP is really good in its current state. I feel like the reason they're leaving it out is because most people can agree that Silver Ridge Peaks is good the way that it is. I think most people are very happy with the current state of Silver Ridge Peaks, but most of the other maps had one or two things that people didn't like about them. And I assume that's why they've been redoing a lot of those maps, but SRP hasn't got a redo. I think in general, SRP is just considered to be one of the best maps that they've made, and a lot of people like it the way it is. So I'm guessing that's why. Little level three. Small males. Well, we're bound to find some small males with all the big males we've been finding. Bound to have a few lakes that are bad. Like this one. Nothing good here. Um, To be honest, I think we've checked all the spots I want to check, except maybe up here. Oh, that's been hunted heavily. Never mind. Uh, Yeah, I think it's time to go to another server. This server has been great to us, but I think it's time for us to dip out and go to a different map. Hey Luke, we've had a crazy day, man. This server that we just left, we got a level 4 piebald Roosevelt elk, we got a diamond blacktail deer, and a piebald blacktail deer female. It's been a crazy day so far. That server was absolute gold. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, there's no parquet servers, wow. We could do Yukon, I saw a few people wanting Yukon, so let's go here. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to look for some Harlequins before the update. See if we can find any uh, diamonds or rares. I only have one albino Harlequin, so I'd like to find another. Nice, Widow. Yeah, the moose uh, piebalds are pretty good looking. Rare moose in general look pretty stunning. Uh oh, my crosshair. Now it messed up. Um, There we go. Now it's good. Such a weird bug. Caribou? That's a four. Uh, once again, we don't have a class 9 weapon, so I can't shoot the bison here. So I'm gonna hope that we, uh, don't have to- Or no, I do have a class 9 weapon. We have the 454, so we can take everything. I completely forgot that we had that swapped out. Oh, and Johnny, if you hadn't heard, we're doing a thing right now where every $10 plus donation, somebody can remove an item from my inventory. So, um, Ben removed the 300 Magnum, and then... Lucas decided to remove the 308 and add the 454. So we're currently rolling with the 454, the 22 Hornet, the 243, and the 22 LR. So we got a very unique loadout at the moment. It's been fun though. We've actually took out quite a few things with that 454. All three of those uh, trophies we took out with the 454. So it's actually made for a pretty cool hunt. Made for a very cool hunt. Been a very cool one indeed. Uh, let's make sure we're not near anybody. Holy tents. Uh, I'm going to assume this server's been hunted hard. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. This definitely looks like a server that's been hunted quite a bit, so... Although... Maybe not. You know what this looks like to me? 
This looks like somebody who has been playing Call of the Wild for a while, therefore has a ton of tents and blinds, but probably does population resets on their map because there's not very many zones. So I don't think I'll play this one. It just doesn't seem right. There's that many tents and stands, but like no need zones anywhere hardly. Just doesn't feel right. Does not feel right to me at all. So I think we'll steer clear of that one. Uh, let's try this one, though. Hey, shoot the Viper. I'm doing good. And thank you. I appreciate that. What is the fur type uh, that's moose with a white body and red spots? That's not a thing as far as I know. I don't think that that's a thing. Ooh, this is unchecked. Uh, let's run up here and see if we can get ourselves some wolves, maybe. Because this server seems pretty unchecked. Are there any pictures of the raccoon dog? As of now, no. Why are Mexican bobcats so buggy? Um, bobcat and lynx in general are pretty buggy. It's a known thing. I think eventually they plan to fix it, but I don't think it's super high on the priority list because there's bigger issues to be fixed, but it is a it is some known issues that the bobcats and the lynx are a little bit buggy. Oh, don't worry, Crow Scare. We'll check them out. We'll go say hi to Gerald and Harold eventually. True, Johnny, true. That is a possibility as well. Just shot a fox at 11.98 yards. That is a very close shot, Cole. That's a very close shot. Might be the Mocha Moose? Ah, uh, maybe. The Mocha Moose doesn't have red spots, though. Nice, Luke. That's awesome, dude. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to drop a picture of it in the Discord. That's a fox. Uh, melanistic fox, yeah? Please? That'd be great. I would definitely not be uh, too mad about that. As of now, the only rare fox I've ever killed was... Uh, that's just a seven. As I was saying, the only rare fox I've killed was a piebald female, so... I would not mind finding another rare. So any fox that we hear today, we'll definitely chase after, just to see if it's a rare. Lions and mountain lions, basically any cat is buggy. True. That That is unfortunate. The more I think about it, there is quite a few of them that are like that. Hopefully they'll uh, get that type of stuff sorted out eventually. What's the rarest wolf? I think the albino Iberian wolf is probably the most rare. Albino Iberian wolves are not a common thing to see. If I'm remembering right, I think it's more rare than any uh, gray wolf. Yeah, the wolves can be buggy as well. Not as buggy as the cat species though. Hey, DTV, how's it going? You missed an insane server. Uh, we got onto a fresh server on Layton that had like barely any zones. And we got a diamond blacktail, a level four piebald elk, and a um, piebald female blacktail deer. It was a crazy server. Just an absolutely insane server. Nice, Thomas. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, those are very rare. Oh, no, Crow Scare. That's not good. Poor pupper. Poor little pupper. Ah. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you looking at? I don't appreciate being looked at that way. Hey, Knowles, we're checking for uh, wolves at the moment. 
seeing if we can find any good ones. And it looks like it's also moose time, so I guess if we find a good moose, then uh, that'd be a bonus. Nice little bonus. Is the goose bug fixed? Uh, what do you mean? I didn't know goose were bugged. They've been working fine for me. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? Uh, we've been having a good day. We've, uh, as of now, got three good trophies from the exact same server as well. We got a level four piebald Roosevelt elk, a diamond blacktail, and a piebald female blacktail. Is the 308 better than the 30 out six? Uh, yes, if we're looking at just overall performance, yes, it is much better. The 30 out 6 is still a very good rifle, though. So, uh, definitely don't discount it out of the picture, you know. It's still good. But the 308 does have better recoil control. It's got a faster fire rate, and it deals the same amount of damage. So, the 308 is better, yes. Uh, no, Lucas. I don't. I used to when it first came out, but I lost interest in it about a year and a half later. Oh, that's unfortunate, BZ. That's actually really unlucky as well, because I don't see Troll Mule Deer as often as I do Diamonds ones, so it seems like you've been getting unlucky. Got out of the staircase situation, lost everything to a very defended crop base and got 2.5k Narc in all my loot, because I told him I was poor, killed him on the spot, stole his tech armor, and raided him. Oh my gosh, TTV, that's amazing. Ah, uh, man, that makes me miss the PvP scene for Ark. He used to be so much fun. I remember the last uh, big PvP server that I played with my old tribe that I used to play with. Um, we always played on the same server, right? Until they ended up uh, not being able to run the servers anymore. But for the longest time, we played on the same servers every wipe. And... We had been one of the top tribes on those servers for pretty much every single wipe cycle that that server had. It was us and then one other tribe that were always battling for alpha. And I'll never forget, like, the last, uh, the last server that I played with that tribe, I think I went on, like, a nine-kill streak with this one wyvern. Like, I was doing really well. And it was, it was hilarious because there was this one guy on their side that was always talking crap. And he had been using this one wyvern to just like wipe out tons of different people. And I ended up picking him off of the wyvern and then we ended up killing that thing. Never forget that moment because it was just, it was just so nice to see it get taken down. Makes me miss the PvP for Ark. I hope Ark 2's PvP is good. But unfortunately, nowadays, I don't really have, like, a, a full-on tribe to do PvP on Ark. If I could get a full tribe together of at least, like, eight people, I'd definitely play some more Ark PvP, but... Unfortunately, I can just never get, like, a full tribe that is able to be on every single day. How did you get that map? Uh, what do you mean, Bubba? What map? Just solo and hiding in a corner of the map with three auto turrets and I'm stacked. <laughs> nice, TTV. I've done that a couple times. I don't know, the whole, like, playing solo, hiding out in a small area has never really been my thing. Because I, I like doing mass breeding of, like, gigas and uh, wyverns and stuff like that. I like having a big stacked base with a large tribe. That's always been my preferred playstyle for PvP on Ark. Because I feel like there's there's more stuff to do when it comes to raiding when you're on with a large tribe. Are you looking forward to the new map? Definitely, man. I'm very excited. I've been wanting a waterfowl-focused map, or like a bird-focused map with a waterfowl rework for so long. It's nice to see that we're getting it. Uh, this is one of those maps where I never knew how much I'd be excited for it when it finally came. Like, I am just absolutely more excited than I've ever been for a map because I know there's going to be so much new stuff to do with this map same Johnny the black grouse look great the black grouse the capricallies the different species of ptarmigan and grouse they're all going to be so nice gonna hop on call a while for a little see if I got anything good nice hollow 
Nice. Let me know if you find that melanistic red deer. I still desperately need one. <laughs> melanistic red deer is the only trophy that I will accept as a... Uh, that I will uh, let people give to me. Because I've killed probably like seven or 8,000 red deer and never got a melanistic male. At this point, I'm desperate. Normally, I'm very against uh, handouts and I like to find everything myself, but melanistic red deer is the only exception I'll ever make. Because I just, I just need one so bad. My map clearly doesn't produce them. We clearly do not get uh, melanistic males off of my map. I think that's pretty apparent after thousands and thousands of kills with every other rare possible and m tons of diamonds and a great one, but no melanistic still. I think it's pretty clear that my maps don't like me for melanistics. Which is sad. Are Red Deer and Ravantuli Coast? Uh, no, they're not. There is Moose, Whitetail, uh, Raccoon Dog, Lynx, Canada Goose, Mallard, um, Willow Ptarmigan. What else is there? Um, Rock Ptarmigan, Black Grouse. Uh, what was the other grouse species? There's one more grouse species. Then there's the Tufted Duck. There is... I don't know. I honestly can't remember all of them. I know we have Capricallies. Rock Grouse? Oh, it's the Hazel Grouse. Okay. Yeah, Hazel Grouse. Then what else do we have? What level is Cranty? 45. You know, I think that he's mistaking the um, the high jumping abilities of players in this game for hacks. He thinks that this guy's hacking because he jumped high. Little does he know that's just how the jumping looks as we saw on, uh, on the stream for EW. Jumping looks really high in third person. Poor Cranty. He doesn't know. What's the max score for Musk Deer? I would not be able to tell you to be honest because I don't hunt them. I have no clue what their max score is. What weapon pack should I get? Someone a beginner? I would recommend getting the um, the modern rifle pack. It comes with a 308 AR, a 223 AR, and a 22 AR. With that, you can cover every class except class 9. And you get some of the, fa the fastest firing rifles that are incredibly controllable. So I definitely recommend those. Hey, Mel, how's it going? I forgot to say hi. Hope you've been doing good. Oh, yeah, the Widgeon. We got the Tufted Duck, the Gold Knight Duck, uh, Bean Goose, and the Gray Lag Goose. So, yeah, there's so many species. Yeah, 276 sounds right. That definitely sounds right. Black Rouse, Brown Bear, Canada Goose, Eurasian, Lynx, Eurasian, Teal. Oh yeah, the Teal, I keep forgetting about those. Even though they're like one of my most anticipated species, I somehow always forget them. Um, Eurasian Widgeon, Goldeneye, Greylag, Goose, Hazel, Grouse, Mallard, Moose, Mountain Hare, Raccoon, Dog, uh, Rock Ptarmigan, Tufted Duck, Tundra Bean Goose. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about the Mountain Hare as well. Oh, one second, guys. I got to see what this raid invite is. Oh, it went away. Never mind. I got a raid invite on Pokemon Go, and it disappeared before I could click on it. Feels bad. Want the new map so bad? Me too, Family Miller. I want it so bad as well. They've shown it to us a lot earlier than normal from what they've been saying, so I don't know when we're going to get access to it. Like, I so badly want to hunt it. It's driving me crazy that we have no idea when that's going to be. I so badly want to get out there and start hunting. Well, so far Yukon's not really being good to us, so... I think we'll go to a different one.
Uh, it's an actual species, uh, Joe. It's like a raccoon, but way more vicious and evil. Think of think of a raccoon, but it, it, it tries to kill you every time it sees you. That's basically a raccoon dog. A really bulky, chubby, fluffy raccoon that just hates everything. I, I think that's the best description of it. All right, let's go Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, Tuxton. I mean, right right now, I don't even know when we'll get that. It's hard to say. They haven't really said anything. Oh, definitely, Joel. I think we will get new decoys. I think we'd have to get new decoys and new collars. I mean, they already mentioned we'll get new collars, but I would imagine we'll get decoys as well. Have I played with Didi? Yes, I played with Didi once. We did a uh, video together. Okay, not a ton of uh, zones. This could be good. I'm still looking for a rare uh, cottontail rabbit, and I'm also still looking for a melanistic turkey, so I'm hoping we can find one of those. Want to see a mountain hare? Same. I want to see what they look like. I'm curious if they look different than uh, the current rabbits in the game. And I'm assuming that with it being a hare species, uh, we'll probably end up getting female diamonds. That's how it's been with a lot of the hares. Pretty much every hare species, it's the females that make diamond. Uh, no, Viper, I don't have an Insta. Not a, uh... Not one for my channel, at least. I have a personal one, but I don't give that one out. Um, I don't know what that is, uh, Crow Scare. Not sure what that would be. When's the map coming out on PS4? Nobody knows as of now, Luke. They haven't even announced a release date for any platform. Quite large and fluffy. They really are. They really are. I agree, TTV. I wasn't too big of a fan of that change. It seems like a lot of people liked it, but I, I don't see it being a good thing. I don't personally like that. I really prefer... I really preferred them being at class 1 because it felt more realistic to shoot them with 22s and birdshot. Because, I mean, that's what people do around here in Oregon. But I don't know, it still feels strange to uh, have to hit vitals on a raccoon and to use a 243. It still feels so weird to use a 243 on them. It just seems so overkill and unethical. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, and I guess uh, the majority of people wanted them to be class 2. But I, I still think they were more fun at class 1 and more realistic. Because everybody that I know, they always used uh, 22 LRs for raccoons. And it feels so weird that we can't use that on them now. It's so strange. Yeah, Isaac, exactly what I'm saying, though. Like, birdshot and 22 LR is like a couple of the more common things for raccoons. You really don't need anything bigger. Oh, the new Jurassic World movie. Got you, Crow Scare. I haven't seen the recent one. I saw the first Jurassic World movie. I haven't seen any of the ones they released after that. Goodbye, turkey. You don't by any chance have any uh, melanistic brothers with you, do you? Oh, I actually didn't mean to shoot there. There we go. Yeah, it's right. Stay down. <laughs> Shoot them with my 22 pistol. 22 pistol is a very good option. There's a new trailer you should check out. Super cool and awesome. All right, Crow Scare. We'll definitely have to check it out sometime. If I uh, if I remember to do it after the stream, at least.
All right, not seeing any good white tail. Uh, Christopher, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope your day has been going great. Hope you've been enjoying the stream. How much more until we get rid of the binoculars? So, it's ba basically the way we're doing it. I, I guess I should have specified this in the title, but it's every donation of $10 or more, somebody can remove an item from my inventory. As of now, somebody removed the 300 Magnum, and then somebody removed my 308 and added the 454. So, right now, we're running with a pretty interesting loadout of the 454, the 243, the 22 Hornet, and the 22 LR. We got a very interesting loadout going. Oh, well, there's some whitetail. Or actually, that's the same whitetail. Have I ever played Farming Sim? Uh, no, I haven't. Not really my thing, to be honest. I like ranch sim, but farming sim's not really for me. 165 to 227, that's a decent bear. Not gonna be anything too crazy though. How many animals on the new map are not birds? Uh, I think just like five or six. There's Eurasian lynx, there's moose, white-tailed deer, raccoon dog, uh, mountain hare. I think that's it. So like five. It's five and then I believe 12 uh, bird species. I know TTV. It doesn't make much sense. And technically in real life you can use a 223 on a raccoon. Or not raccoon, but a 223 on turkey in a lot of places. This is why uh, Call of the Wild's gun system is flawed and needs a bit of an overhaul. Because you end up with a lot of uh, unrealistic situations where you can't use specific guns on animals or you can't... Uh, or like certain animals can be shot with things that normally you wouldn't see. Like I've never seen somebody shoot a... Uh, six of them? Okay. Like I've never seen anybody shoot a raccoon with a 243 in real life. And I've never known a situation where you couldn't shoot them with a 22 LR, so it's just interesting. Did you say moose and brown bear? Oh, I forgot about brown bear. That's right. I said moose, but I did forget brown bear. So we have brown bear, moose, white tailed deer, raccoon dog, mountain hare, Eurasian lynx. So yeah, that would be six of them. And then the other 13 are bird species. Thank you guys for correcting me there. As sometimes it's really difficult to get accurate counts of everything when I'm also searching for trophies and chatting in chat. So I appreciate it. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything. That's a male. First male of the day. Do a quick uh, check around here. Nine to eleven. That's decent. But I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yeah, don't see anything crazy here. Let's go. Go right here, actually. Um, I like the Eastern turkeys, the best fusion. Uh, same Cherie, I've, I've never, um, like, I wouldn't recommend hunting an elk with a, uh, 243 in real life, but it is legal to do it in a lot of places. Uh, personally, I think 270 is about the lowest you'd want to go for elk. If we're talking, like, something that can take them down pretty quickly and a bit more reliably. Definitely Rancho Berry. Rancho's better for Whitetail. More consistent, I should say. Because I think Mississippi does actually have more whitetail. But ranchos are just so consistent with where they uh, respawn that I always prefer rancho. I'm sorry to hear that, Robbie. Hopefully the stream's helping you feel a little bit better. Is 
That's good, Luke. That's uh, very good. Glad that it came back negative. Because uh, it's not fun. I went through the Rona and my gosh, that was the worst I've felt in probably three or four years. But then again, I got a pretty extreme case of it, so... It's definitely not as bad for everybody, but for me it was really bad. Never before in my life have I felt like my teeth were being pulled out, but uh, the Rona did it to me. I legit felt like my teeth were being pulled out from all the sinus pressure. Not a great feeling. Definitely would not recommend. Hopefully I never have to feel that again. Oddly enough, I didn't get much of the like breathing issues, which is good. I just had extreme sinus pressure and like pain in my uh, like headache and pain around my jaw. Yeah, crow scare. Definitely, man. It's not fun. Yeah, you definitely got lucky, Edge. That That's the one thing about it, too, is it's so different from person to person. It definitely is uh, different depending on a lot of factors. Like, if you're super healthy, then most likely it's barely going to even feel like a normal cold. And then if you're unhealthy or have, like, pre-existing conditions, then it can really, really be rough. And also, if you're older, like, past 50 or 60 years old, then it also is a very serious thing. But most of the time, if you're young, you can just fight it off like normal. Oh, that's not good, Robbie. I've been lucky enough to never get strep, and I really hope I don't have to experience it because it seems pretty terrible. Ah, gotcha, TTV. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it's necessarily a matter of being, like, anti it. I think some people just don't uh, trust the lack of testing that had to be done on it. Like, I personally didn't get it myself just because I wanted to see... I wanted to see more testing be done on it first. And I don't really leave the house too much anyway and most of the, for the most part I'm pretty healthy so I wasn't really too worried about like dying from it or anything it wasn't fun but like it wasn't worse than stuff that I've gotten in the past uncle's mom passed away at work yesterday oh that's not good DeWald that's not good man Get strep at least once a year because my allergies cause it by coughing too much. Ooh. I've got pretty bad allergies. Oh, gotcha, TTV. Okay, that's a little bit different. I was I was curious what you meant because that term is thrown around so loosely nowadays. For like the most minor things. And so I, I was I was curious what you meant by it. But yeah, that that is a little <laughs> that is a little more than uh what I was thinking. Yeah, Fusion, that's how it is for some people, for sure. But anyway, let's uh, not be on that topic for too much, because YouTube gets pretty strict with uh, with uh, content that talks about uh, the Roni and things. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's jump off that subject so I don't get demonetized. Because YouTube can be pretty uh, touchy with those types of uh, subjects. As far as I know, um, as far as I know, TTV, I think the reason that 
Xbox doesn't have a server selector is because of Microsoft. I think it has something to do with them having Xbox Live. And the fact that they have like multiplayer paywalled through Xbox Live. I think that makes it so they can't really do the server list. Or at least it's like more of a hassle to implement something like that. So I think they've just opted not to. But last I heard, I believe TK said that they can't do it because of Microsoft. Which is unfortunate. Back to talking about how Crow doesn't have a Mela Red Deer Stag. Yes, it's quite unfortunate. My Red Deer Stags, my Melas, they're just not here. They don't like me. It's kind of like the thing with, um... It's kind of like anti-cheat or cross-play TTV. Like, uh, it's one of those things that they'd love to be able to do, but unfortunately there's just restrictions for them that make it difficult to do it. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to also remember that Call of the Wild's dev team isn't massive. Like, they're a pretty small team. And so, therefore, they have a relatively small budget as well. And so, they got to they gotta go with, like, stuff they can actually afford to do. And that's another reason why we have to pay for DLCs is because they do have a small team with a small budget. And the DLCs, like maps and weapon packs, are how they make the money to continue developing the game and to pay their developers. And so big things like crossplay and like things that aren't necessarily a necessity like a server list for Xbox, those types of things often don't get added or make it added much farther down the line just due to the limited amount of manpower that they have. So at the end of the day, it's unfortunate. I wish that they could do those things. But it is what it is. I'm just happy that they've been focusing on the quality of the game recently and kind of spacing out their releases a little bit more so they have more time to perfect the content that they are adding. I think they've been doing good recently at trying to make sure that the content we do get is better quality. Ooh, unfortunate, TTV, unfortunate. Hey, Swanee, how's it going? You missed a crazy uh, chain of events on one of the servers. We ended up getting a piebald level for Roosevelt Elk. And then shortly after, we got a diamond blacktail deer. And about 10 minutes later, we got a piebald uh, female blacktail deer. And then after that, we didn't find anything else. But that was three crazy trophies back to back to back. It was pretty wild. What's my favorite trophy slash animal in the game? Uh, my favorite trophy that I've killed is my melanistic pheasant. Favorite trophy in the game would probably be melanistic red deer stag, like at least a level seven. Nice, Crow Scare. <laughs> got so much better luck than me. All I've gotten in last week is a diamond wild boar. I mean, to be fair, Swanee, I've only got one diamond boar, and I got it before I did YouTube. So that's something that I haven't been able to accomplish in my two years of YouTube. How much does it take to have a PC to play Call of the Wild? Um, Call of the Wild's unfortunately a pretty demanding and unoptimized game, so it does take a somewhat pricey PC to be able to run it. It's hard to, like, say exactly how much it costs, because, like, PC parts vary quite a bit in price at the moment, and they're a lot higher than they normally would be. But I'd say in most cases, in order to run on like high settings for Call of the Wild, you do need like a $1,500 plus PC. And if you're wanting to run on like low graphics and don't really care about it being super high graphics, then you can probably get away with using like a $1,000 PC. If I'm being honest though, laptops are the way to go in the current market for PC parts. If you're just looking for something that can play, um, play Call of the Wild and games like that at good frames, with a good graphic settings, then a laptop's the best bang for your buck. Like the laptop that I got recently, to put it into perspective, like my PC, given I've built it over the years, I didn't buy it as a whole. I've slowly upgraded the parts in my PC over the last few years. 
I'd say the current parts in my PC are probably around two grand. And the laptop that I just got last month for around 1300, it runs games better than my PC does. Because PC parts are just such, they're just so expensive right now. Laptops are honestly the best bang for your buck. If you can get a good gaming laptop, like you can find a good gaming laptop for just around $1,000. It's crazy just how much better price, price per for performance value is with uh, laptops at the moment. I'd run it on at least a 3060. Yeah, that's what the uh, laptop that I got has is the 3060. And it runs ARC at like 100 FPS on medium settings, which is kind of insane. My PC has trouble uh, getting like 60 or 70 on high settings for ARC. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. I'm starting to get a little bit, a uh, little bit hot. The room's starting to heat up from my PC, so we're probably going to jump off. We've been streaming for two hours anyway, which is about the norm. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the stream, though. Today was a fun one. We had some cool trophies, had some really awesome moments, got some trophies that we had never seen before, like that piebald elk. Overall, today was really good. Had quite a bit of fun, and I'm liking this whole thing where uh, we remove items from our loadout uh, for donations. It's actually a lot of fun. It's cool to see what you guys take away from my loadout, so we'll probably do some more of that in the future as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next stream. Peace!